After a difficult week of wildfires, tonight we do have an uplifting story from our community. A local women's college basketball team is being honored for some great work that they're doing off the court. The Warner Pacific Knights have been named champions of character. Here's Fox 12's Nick Krupke. Integrity, respect, responsibility, sportsmanship, and servant leadership. Those are the five core values of the NAIA. Small time college basketball like Warner Pacific's women's team is making big plays outside of the gym. Basketball is a means to an end for, for folks at Warner Pacific. Matt Gregg is in his 12th season as head coach of the Warner Pacific women's basketball team. It's something that we talk about all the time at Warner Pacific is being good basketball players, but being better people off the floor. Before tipping off the new season, the Knights have already been crowned champs, the NAIA champions of character. We have 250 teams in the NAIA, so, you know, it's it's a, a very big conference, so it's a huge award. The second year award is earned by a team that displays exemplary character on the court, on campus, and in the community. We didn't just do this this year and then got the award. We've been doing this for quite some time, and, and it's, you know, the things that we do are kind of near and dear to my heart, and I think I've kind of imposed that on my kids. The WP women annually are hooping for the homeless, where admission to a game is three pairs of socks that Coach Greg then gathers and delivers to the Union Gospel Mission on Burnside. I try to get my kids just to have empathy for it. It's not a situation where you just throw money at it and think it's going to go away. You know, you have to have compassion for these people. The Knights also make monthly visits to serve hot meals with potluck in the park under the Hawthorne Bridge. You just can see genuine appreciation in their eyes. You know, and it kind of levels the playing field a little bit when, when we look at them and they're thankful for what we're doing for them. I think it allows our kids to put down their phones for a little bit and actually see what's around them. Warner Pacific's team leader, the honorary star on the bench, Lexi De Los Reyes. She has an inoperable brain tumor. And she's been through 12 brain surgeries. Six Lady Lexi is a 17-year-old from Gladstone who is blind and paralyzed in her left arm. But on game night, it's a shot in the armor for the Knights. She comes into our gym and it's just amazing how she just, you wouldn't know anything was wrong with her. She's got such a great attitude about it. And then it's just contagious. You know, the girls rush over to her and love on her. She's just a special kid to us. 15 minutes left before we tip off. I normally sit with her on the bench, just the two of us, and we just chat about, you know, what's gone on with her in school or whatever that day. So that's kind of the best time for me is that 15 minutes that I get without the girls being around, and, and that's kind of a fun time for me. Good dude, great deeds. Another fun time for Coach Greg. His youngest son, Ben, a senior at Clackamas High, recently committed to hoop it up back in their family's hometown of Spokane with the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Good luck to them. And we look forward to catching up with Lexi and her fellow Knights during this basketball season. In studio, Nick Krepke, Fox of Oregon.